When you have poor credit, it can be very tricky to obtain a credit card. Fortunately, there are some great offerings including the Indigo Platinum MasterCard and the Open Sky Visa Card. In this comparison, we review them side by side in order to understand which of them offer more and which one can be the best fit for your needs. Let's start. The Indigo Platinum MasterCard main benefits are No security deposit required. The main draw of this card is that, unlike the Open Sky, you don't need a security deposit to open the card. You can access a revolving line of credit as you would with a standard credit card, but your initial credit limit will be low. Reports to all credit bureaus. This card can help you to build your credit score, as your account payments are reported to the major credit bureaus. You may not pay an annual fee. Indigo assesses each application, and if your history qualifies you, you can enjoy the Indigo Platinum without needing to pay an annual fee. You can pre-qualify. Indigo is suitable for those with poor to good credit, but you can pre-qualify to check what terms you would be eligible for without impacting your credit score. On the other hand, here's what Open Sky Secured Visa Card offers. Low Annual Fee The annual fee for this card is only $35, which is very reasonable for a credit card designed for those with poor to average credit. No credit check needed. Having poor credit can make it difficult to qualify for a credit card, but Open Sky does not require a credit check to apply. You will need to meet some requirements, such as providing a social security number, having monthly income greater than your typical monthly expenses, and being a U.S. permanent resident or citizen. But this should make it easy for most people to qualify. Activity reported to all three credit bureaus. As with the Indigo, your payment activity will be reported to the three major credit bureaus to help you to improve your credit score over time. Bank account not necessary. Many cards require that you have a bank account, which creates a barrier for those with poor credit. However, OpenSky does not require its cardholders to have a bank account as you can pay your security deposit with a Western Union payment or money order. You can also pay your credit card bills by money order. As with most credit cards and financial products, there are both positives and negatives associated with these cards. It is important to be realistic about the potential card drawbacks before you make a decision about which card is best for you. High Annual Fee When you submit an application, you could qualify for one of three Indigo Platinum card options. Depending on your credit, you could pay up to $99 as an annual fee, which is far higher than the open sky. Low Limit While you don't need to pay a security deposit, the Indigo Platinum only offers a low credit limit of just $300. This is far lower than other unsecured cards for those with low credit scores, which offer up to $1,000. This means that if you want to improve your credit score, you will need to be very careful that you manage your credit utilization ratio. If your annual fee is $75, your credit utilization ratio will immediately be 25%. Limited Upgrade Path OpenSky does not automatically offer an option to upgrade to an unsecured card once you've improved your credit score. While you may be eligible for a credit limit increase after six months with no additional security, OpenSky will still retain your original deposit, so it will remain tied into your account. However, some customers may be offered an OpenSky Gold Unsecured card after approximately six months. High Deposit Options The minimum deposit for the OpenSky is $200, which would provide you with a $200 credit line. However, there are other cards that offer a similar credit line with a deposit as low as $49. For those who are still in doubt, we've gathered the most popular questions of our readers. What are the card income requirements? Both of these cards have very flexible requirements, so you don't need to worry about your income to qualify. In the case of Open Sky, you simply need to prove that your income is greater than your typical monthly expenses. Do the cards ask for proof of income? This should not be an issue with either the Indigo Platinum or Open Sky, but it may be a good idea to have a couple of recent payslips on hand during the application process, just in case. Can you get pre-approved for these cards? The Indigo Platinum has a pre-approval option on the official website. You can enter your basic details and get the results within a few minutes. Open Sky does not require a credit check to apply, so there really is no need to pre-qualify. You can simply apply and see if you qualify without impacting your credit with a hard pull. In fact, OpenSky claims an 85% average approval rate. What's the initial credit limit 
for the cards. Indigo Platinum has an initial credit limit of $300, but there is no mention of when or if it is possible to get a credit limit increase. This makes this card a fairly basic option and you may need to move on to a different card once you've improved your credit score. The credit limit for an Open Sky Secured Visa credit card is determined by your deposit. You can provide a security deposit of $200 to $3,000 and this will act as your credit limit. So if you pay a $500 security deposit, you'll have a $500 limit. However, after six months, you may be eligible for a credit limit increase without needing to provide an additional deposit. What are the top reasons not to get these cards? The main reason not to consider the Indigo Platinum is the very low credit limit. You'll only be offered a $300 limit and you may attract a $75 to $99 annual fee, which will quickly eat up your available credit and show as a 25% credit utilization ratio. The top reason not to consider the Open Sky Secured Visa is similar. While you can have some flexibility about your credit limit, according to the amount you provide as a deposit, it is a dollar for dollar. At a base $200 deposit, you'll only get a $200 limit. There are other secured credit card options that provide a $200 limit with a deposit as low as $49. Do the card providers report payments to all credit bureaus? Yes, both card providers report your payment activity to all three major credit bureaus, TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian, which can help to boost your credit score in a matter of months. How long will I use the card until my credit score goes up? This really depends on your circumstances and spending habits. If you're regularly using the card and making your payments on time, you should start to see your credit score increasing in several months. According to Open Sky, half of its customers who make payments on time see a FICO score increase of 30 or more points after just three months. Can I add an authorized user? Indigo allows its Platinum account holders to add an authorized user with no charge. The authorized user will get a card linked to your account but showing their name to make purchases using your credit line. OpenSky also allows you to add an authorized user to your account, but this can only be done after you've been approved for an account and it is not possible during the application process. Do the cards offer a good digital experience? Indigo has a decent website with a fairly comprehensive FAQ section, giving a good overall digital experience. OpenSky also has a solid website, but it can only be accessed within the U.S., if you want to check your account while you're abroad on vacation, the international IP will be rejected. How long does it take for card approval? You can get a pre-approval decision for the Indigo Platinum in a few minutes. From the submission of your application, it will take up to two weeks for your new card to arrive in the mail. Open Sky approvals take up to 48 hours, and once you're approved, the card can take up to two weeks to arrive. How's the card customer service availability? The Indigo customer service team is available from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday, Pacific Time. OpenSky has a toll-free number, and you can also speak to the customer service team via the OpenSky app. Overall, the Indigo Platinum MasterCard is a great option that could be good if you don't want to pay a security deposit. One of the main attractions of this card is that you don't need to provide a security deposit. This can be a major plus point if you need a credit card but don't necessarily have spare funds that you can tie up as card security. You're happy with a low limit. Many people simply want a credit card to access services that are unavailable if you don't have one. For example, renting a card is far easier if you have a credit card. So if you're one of these people and don't necessarily need a credit card for making everyday purchases, this could be a good option for you. You want a card for purchases abroad. If you want to use your credit card to make purchases when you're on vacation, the Indigo Platinum is appealing since the foreign transaction fees are a very reasonable 1%. Just be sure to let Indigo know that you are headed out of the U.S. to avoid transactions being declined. The Open Sky Secured Visa card can be a good fit for your needs if you're looking for You don't have a bank account. Many credit card providers, including those offering secured credit cards, require applicants to have a bank account. But this is not the case with Open Sky. You can use money orders to pay your security deposit and monthly bills. You don't want a credit check. If you're really struggling with your credit score and a hard credit pull will only make things worse, Open Sky is a great option. This card does not require a credit check to apply, 
so you won't even temporarily impact your credit score. You want a larger credit limit. Your credit limit is determined by the amount you provide as a security deposit. So if you're looking to do some serious credit rebuilding and have plenty of cash, you can set yourself up with a $3,000 limit. This will allow you to make regular purchases with the card while keeping below 30% credit utilization. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. On our website, you can find side-by-side -side credit card comparisons, extensive reviews and full guides that can help you maximize your credit card rewards or build credit responsibly. What is your favorite card? We would love to know your thoughts, so feel free to share them on the comments below. I hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get the best financial videos as soon as they go live.